Hey guys, welcome to Playing Outdoors. This is Bobby here. For those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for watching um, and tuning in. Um, this is the video where uh, it's the in installation of the striping kit for the Toro Time Cutter 75750. I was uh, debating whether or not to, to post this because it didn't go as planned. Um, I have it right here. It actually fell off about three weekends after. So I was debating on whether to post it because uh, it's not the right way, but um, I will point out in the video here where I think I went wrong and uh, hopefully that will help you guys if you are doing this. But yeah, let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Welcome to Poygan Outdoors. Uh, Bobby here. If this is your first time. Uh, welcome. And uh, today we're we're going to be installing a striping kit on a Toro 75750. It's a 50-inch deck. It's a 2020 Toro, but um, it looks like it's a pretty universal striping kit. So you'll probably be able to use this on your Toro, assuming you have the 50-inch deck. Yeah, so let's get into it. Alrighty. So uh, this is going to be our testing area right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, mow without the striping kit, and I'm going to alternate each line here. That way we'll have a benchmark. And then we're going to install the striping kit and then go and, oops, you lost me. There I am. Then I'm going to go and uh, mow it again um, side by side so then we can see the difference, if there's a difference. If you guys have seen my previous videos, mowing videos, this stripe or this lawnmower, it stripes really nice without a striping kit. I'm a little uh, un uneasy. I don't really think that the striping kit's going to help me much just because it does stripe so good itself. But uh doesn't hurt to try so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, installed here we will give you our thoughts of it afterwards and if it's worth it to have the striping kit or if uh, you're good with just the more like I said it stripes phenomenally without it but we're gonna install it and uh, stay tuned she's good He's good. So we got the owner's manual here. Um, again, this is for a Toro 75750, and it also looks like it's for a 75759. I have the 75750 though. Um, go to page uh, 48 here, and then we're going to removing the lower deck. So to put the striping kit on, we do have to take off the deck, um, which will work out good because I do have to sharp. Sorry, which will work out good because I do have to sharpen the blades. Now, I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. Um, down in the comments, but since I'm taking the deck off and I don't want to take it off twice I am going to install a striping kit and sharpen my blades and they do say that sharpening blades does help you striping So I don't know I might be messing up this little test here By putting that little added in there, but I mean we should really notice a difference in the striping once this this kits on um, So you guys I guess I'll just have to take my judgment for it um, if you do want me to do one um, with sharp blades both ways I'm sure this thing I can just un un unbolt and then, you know, do the test then. Let me know in the comments below though, but otherwise uh, we're gonna get to taking this deck off. First thing we gotta do is uh, we gotta park um, the mower on a level surface, so I just have it in my garage here. Um, one thing you're gonna wanna do is park it so that you can slide this deck out. So I parked it in here perpendicular, um, so I can slide it either way. I'm not really sure what's gonna be the easiest way to slide it, but um, that's end goal. Um, if I would have went uh, this way, um, I would be hitting, it's a little, it's shorter, so um, that's the reason for that. But the first thing we got to do is obviously make sure the engine's off, everything stops moving, um, and turn, uh, turn the key off, and have your parking brake on. So we have everything off here, parking brakes are on, both sides. And then uh, next thing we got to do is we got to lower um, the height of the deck to a lowest setting. There we go. 
see that. Got the lowest setting, um, and then we gotta go underneath. Alrighty, so we gotta move this uh, cotter key here, or uh, sometimes I refer to it as an R pin. There's that. Take your washer. Got them. And then uh, you gotta lift up a little bit on this mower deck here. And you just take this bracket out here and then just let it go to the ground. Okay, next we're gonna lower one side of the deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the, the chute side here. It's the right side of the lawnmower for me. Take again, take the cotter or the R pin out, the cotter key in the washer. Set that in a special spot. And then we should just be able to slide this thing off. Maybe. Got it. Ugh. Okay. All right. We're going to do the same thing on the other side here. Again, there's a baby. Whoops. You guys good? Just watch out on here. So this goes all the way to the ground. So be very careful when you set that down. Make sure you have your hand on this side if you can. Because otherwise you'll pinch yourself if you're not being careful. And we got to get the pulley off or the belt off um, for the, the mower. So just go ahead and push the, the mower back. And then, oops, can you guys see that? Uh, there, you can see the belt came off here. So that's off the pulley now. So we're good. No, I'll slide her out. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these off too. So they don't get in the way. All right, uh, I'll go over here what we need uh, for tools here. So here's the striping kit. It comes in um, two main pieces and then some nuts and bolts. Um, but this is the part that connects to the mower deck. And this is what really does all the striping um, here. They come with instructions, which I know a lot of people don't use them. When you're doing that, make sure you look at which one you're doing it for. So there's four different sets in here. There's one with the 42 inch deck and rear skids. Um, one with a 50 inch deck and rear skids, one with a 42 inch deck and no rear skids, and then finally you get to the one that I have, which is a 50 inch deck more without rear skids. So yeah, so that's what we'll be installing today. Um, this is not this is for the dog, it's not a, to or a tool there. Um, the, the holes need to be 9 30 seconds in diameter. I don't have one of them. But I do have a quarter inch, so it's smaller than a 930 seconds, so that's what I'm going to use today. Um, you do have to do a punch, so I did get a little bit smaller one to start my hole. Um, so we'll use that, and then I don't know if I'll need to cut um, that rubber at all. Um, and then you're going to need your drill, and uh, I, think, I think that's about it. And you'll need a tape measure, I forgot about that. We do have to measure some stuff here, so make sure you include that. Alrighty, so I already have them. A good deal of fun with these measurements so they basically tell you to, to measure off of here and they give you a one and a two well it was a little confusing to me but the one is basically the the how low it has to go from the top of the deck down and this two is between this bracket and it's three and seven eighths to the left or to the right whatever side you're on and then this is two and a half inches down so here's the bracket they're talking about and then the top of the mower deck I'll show you what I did here. I got this one all. I don't know if you guys can see that. I had this one in there. Um, I, I kind of figured some th things out, so when I do the other one here, I'll kind of show you what I learned. So take your your mounting bracket and put the the striping side down, so the one the side with all the holes in it that your rubber um, striper would go against, and put that up there, and then set it right on the the mower deck like so, and then take a measurement from the edge of here to the edge of here and it should be about two and an eighth. Let me just double check that measurement for you. Yeah, two and an eighth. And that'll get you right in line. We'll check this one too while we're at it. So that's two and an eighth as well. And then what you can do 
is you can center your lines or see where your lines are. So you can see I'm too far that way for this line. And this one's not even hitting it, so I'm glad I did this. Um, so we'll go ahead and make our lines. Okay, so I got my new lines in there. I just eyeball them. You know, I'm probably putting way too much time into this as it is. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, I'd like to get as perfect as I can if I'm drilling holes into my, my mower deck. So, um, so we got the lines there. We're going to go ahead and drop them down now. Um, and that's two and a half inches down. So again, all we did is we put the bracket on here, measured two and an eighth from, from this edge here. Make sure you're not hitting on that washer there. Or flange, I'm not really sure what you want to call that. Um, make sure you, you go right, right, on, right on the red two and an eighth to this corner here, and that'll be two and an eighth on this corner here then, and that'll get you right in the middle of your mower. So, here we go. Alrighty, here we go, drilling into a brand new deck. Damn near, one year old. So again, I just made that smaller. Um, it's a 930 seconds hole is what it needs. I don't have one of them, so I start off small to get my pilot hole in there, um, and then I'm gonna do uh, one quarter, which is smaller than 930 seconds, that way I can ream it out. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bracket, I'm gonna make sure my one measurement's good, so I'm gonna line it up with this hole. Uh, can you guys see that? Probably not. Um, you have to trust me, but you can see it there. Pretty much lined up with the hole. And then I'm just looking here to make sure my cross member is right there and it is. It's right where I need it. So go ahead and drill it. So that does work. Um, the measurement with using the, the template up here at two and an A. So let's roll. Well, I messed up. What you should do when you drill this these holes make sure these are 9 30 second holes because if you read the instructions which i had here the whole time and just overlooked these are self-tapping screws so the 9 30 seconds allows them to screw in there well here i thought i could just put these in there and then they have a nut on the back well they can't do that because if you look here you can see where the hole is and look what's right there there's no way you can nut that on so I'm going to go get a 930 seconds oops 930 seconds well actually first I'm gonna put this together and I'm gonna see how low I need it to go on here and I'm probably gonna drill <laughs> two more holes below it um, definitely don't want to do that so learn from my mistakes um, and yeah, so that's the reason for the two holes. Hopefully we'll do it the right way here. These little things, um, there's a raised edge on there that goes towards facing towards the mower. So, um, basically be on this lip here. Last one. And then you're just going to want to make sure it lines up. Some of them are a little off, but I think we can fix that. There we go. Looks good, looks good. Looks good and looks good. So let's go ahead and put these on. Um, this is a uh, 3 ace socket will work on this and then they have washers. I'm not really sure you had to put these thicker ones here are for. The thicker and shorter ones are here. Um, but uh, maybe it's just a universal pack. But uh, make sure you start these hand tight because they they do like to go in cross threaded. There we go. 
comfortable in height in all these once I'm, I'm done. I just need to get the height here to see if I should go uh, below my holes or above my holes. <laughs> it's better to go below them so I'm gonna be mowing higher so I'm gonna go below it what's going on guys my GoPro battery died I messed up the striping kit as you already saw so I'm not really sure where it left off but I cleaned out the mower and sharpened my blades, put them back on. Um, I'll probably do another video on how to do that later on. But for right now, we got the striping kit on. Um, let's kind of show you here. You know, please, please, please make sure you use that 930 seconds. These are self-tapping screws. You need the 930 seconds. Hang on. You need the 930 seconds for these self-tapping screws to start them. And it works out really slick. Um, I left these loose for right now because I have to go adjust it um, and I'm probably just going to put it halfway see how it does make sure it's not riding too too crazy um, and then you saw me put in these bolts and literally these self tap right in it they're, they're pretty slick um, again I messed up I put two holes in there I don't like that but uh, use it as a learning experience um, it's not going to hurt it too bad I mean they're pretty well made decks so anything's going to rust but anyways, so we got that on, we got the mower back, mower deck back on, sharpened the blades, and now we're going to see how the striper kit does. We had to set it first, so we'll run through that here quickly. Alrighty, so for uh, measuring this, let's see if we can get you guys turned around here. You're probably gonna want two people for this, so Santana's here to help me. We want it um, a quarter to a half inch below the deck. So I'm gonna put that right up below half inch there and then I'm gonna eyeball it and let her go ahead and probably, sh we probably shouldn't have went all the way. That looks like a good height. Um, because we do gotta tighten the other side and we might move it um, when we lift this other side up, but we'll see here. All right, we're running out of daylight here. We'll see if we can get some stripes going. Otherwise, I'll show you guys tomorrow. All right, we're looking at um, the right one here is without the striping kit. The left one here is with it, and they're both coming at us. And then this one here, the left is without it, and the right is with it. It's kind of hard to tell in this light, um, but what I will, I'll show you guys tomorrow if I can tell. But what you really want to look for here, so I have my um, my deck set to where I'm mowing, and you want to make sure that this is hitting the grass. So it kind of is. I actually might drop it down a little bit. I mean, it's hitting it, but it's not hitting it. So probably give it bring it down to three quarters of an inch below the deck um, again this is the mold mold grass this one's hitting it more you can see there so I don't know we'll see we'll mold it once maybe we got it lower down but I'll let you guys know keep you updated Alrighty, so there you have it guys um, you can see where I messed up there um, it was with the self tapping screws and drilling in those pilot holes you know I'm not a mechanic by any reason or any of the sorts I do like to to dabble in this type of stuff but I'm an average person I think there's a lot of people who have the same issue I always have so hopefully this helps you guys but yeah that's how it goes I do have some future plans for the striping kit whether it be making you know a PVC one out of cement or trying to get this one um, the old striping kit maybe just use bigger um, diameter self tapping screws and try to use my holes again I'm not really sure I'm not gonna give up on it um, but I do want to mention um, in there I don't think I showed the before and afters because I didn't really have any afters I do think it helps um, I, as you guys have seen in all these lawnmower videos I always 
comment on how well this lawnmower stripes without a striping kit. What I do notice is that if you do have um, like lines, what I do notice is that it does take those intermediate lines away, so it makes gives you a little darker stripe, which is what a striping kit's supposed to do. Um, to the average homeowner, you you probably be just fine with with the lawnmower. You probably don't need the striping kit. Um, but if you if you do like the stripes, um, like I do, it's definitely I, I think worth it. It's a little pricey. It's hundred bucks, and there's there's um, cheaper options out there. Like I said, the PVC filled with rocks or cement or something like that, which is what I may do, or I might try to use this thing again. But um, we'll see. Um, it might be a winter project just because uh, we're getting close to the halfway through the summer here. And uh, it's getting to be the dry period, so lawn mowing is going to start slowing down here. But uh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any uh, tips or tricks um, that you think I could have done better, um, feel free to post them down in the comments below. Um, I think you all help, help out each other a lot. So, um, but anyways, uh, sorry it, it wasn't successful. But again, just use my mistakes or learn from them, I guess, and don't, don't make them yourself. Um, so I hope that helped a little bit. Um, again, I you know, apologize it didn't work out quite right. But... Uh, I thought it was worth the benefit to post it. So until next time, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later. She's dirty. It'd be nice if I had somebody to clean it for me. You're looking at them. <laughs>